Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to a very special video, a one-off, well, not exactly one-off, but I guess once a year. This will be the video to mark the one year anniversary of the channel. That's right, on January 7th, 2013, I uploaded uh, my first video to YouTube under this account. Uh, and last year, actually those first two videos that I uploaded on that day were uh, a video of Dota 2 and a video of uh, Football Manager 2014. Now, as you guys can see, I'm not playing Dota 2 or Football Manager, uh, Football Manager 2013, sorry, or I'm not playing Football Manager 2015 this year. Last year, I decided to play uh, League of Legends and the new Football Manager of that year. Uh... Screw that. I'm not doing that. First of all, I'm not going to play League of Legends or Dota 2 because I don't really play those games. I I, I can't. I can't deal with those games. I mean, if I was going to play a MOBA uh, for a single match uh, and do it for uh, the do it for like a special, I guess I would play the new Blizzard one, Heroes of the Storm or whatever it is, just because that's different. But I just don't want to pick up Football Manager 2015, and I don't want to download um, Heroes of the Storm. So instead, I'm going to play a game that I really like. Uh, you know, something to give myself an excuse to play a game. I'm going to aim them. I mean, this video is probably only going to be 30 minutes long, to be honest. So there's probably going to be not too much. I mean, it's going to be 30 minutes of a single game that that's going to be it. It's not going to be not going to be very much. But I just wanted to create this video to thank you guys, everyone who's watching, everyone who has watched the channel, everyone who's uh, done anything to have to do with uh, with me, who's interacted with any of the videos, who's liked them or whatever, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, participating in that. So I don't know, we'll just call this, I don't know, um, two years baby with two Bs, uh, there you go, that's sure actually you know what we got, we got to go with the classic name, bend over the name that I gave to the person in football manager in uh, my first video uh, sure let's let's be let's be female uh, what color oh, okay these aren't color hair uh, these are uh, people sure it will be uh, will be this one and uh, sure wear a white shirt two years babby bend over and it's a uh, woman there you go that sounds just like me and uh, that there you go I mean I really unlock hints uh, since you played the game before um, would you like to import, uh, yes, sure, unlock hints, that would be, that'd be grand, uh, let's develop a new game, alright, so, let's start, uh, actually, first of all, obviously, picking a topic is going to be a good transport, time travel, law, or martial arts, well, we don't have a simulator, and martial arts, it, it, you know, what we can do, martial arts, action game on the uh, adventure is good RPG and simulation genre match action question mark no one really knows um, well do I do I do I have adventure simulation RPG a time travel RPG a time travel adventure yeah okay sure we'll do time travel uh, adventure Let's pick platform uh, on the G64, so time travel adventure game on the G64, that's going to be the game. Uh, did I get all of the little ceremony out of it? Hooray, it's been two years! Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really, really mean that. It means a lot to me that you guys watch this. Uh, doing YouTube is, uh, is a blast. Uh, I, of course, do it uh, only as a hobby. Uh, and, um, you know what, it's really, really cool, you know, uh, it's, it's great being a really small channel, because, essentially, like, there's only positivity, people are, people have, people are only super positive, I mean, you know, big channels always, uh, complain, you know, not complain, but, uh, you know, they always get, like, attacked by people really viciously, you know, people are really terrible in the comment section, the bigger the channel is, the more you have to turn off the comment section, but, uh, thankfully, when you're a small channel, the opposite is true, the people out there are only nice, and it's fantastic, and a great time, love making videos every day, and, uh, there you go, also, January 8th, 2014, oh, writer's block, naming something difficult, yeah, I mean, 
uh, you know, I'm not really playing this game as much as this is just going to be this game. This is going to be an excuse to 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 play it really. Um, should we let's let's figure out a name before I, I continue? Time travel adventure. So we'll call this one um, into uh, into the space time nether craft. Uh, yeah, there you go. Into the space time nether craft. Just because it's got to have a craft at the end of it. So there you go. Next. Okay, so is it going to be obviously 2D graphics? Uh, it has to be. Uh, let's start the uh, development of uh, this beautiful, beautiful game. All right, so it's an adventure game, so obviously we want to uh, have its adventure. So story and quests has got to be uh, very big. We're going to max those out, and the engine can go screw itself. Gameplay and story quests. That's what uh, that's what's going to be uh, the most important thing. Of course, uh, we're suffering from writer's block, so um, uh, there you go. That that could be a big disaster for us. Wow. Well, look at that. Uh, hopefully, our money doesn't run out super quick. But I've got a feeling that uh, things won't be that good. Uh, dialogues are going to be super important. Level design and AI. No, I mean a little bit, something like that. Boom. Great, look at that, that's going to be, oh man, we are, I mean, it's not a very technologically advanced game. Wow, our our game designer is very much a, a beginner at this, you can clearly see that. Graphics is super important, and something like world design, that's an adventure game, so we'll call it that. And we will go with uh, something like, uh, something, something like that. Alright, there you go. This should uh, this should definitely make Into the Space Time Nethercraft uh, the best game of 2015. As I was saying, January 8th is uh, the anniversary of uh, the GeoGuessr series, but I'm not going to be doing my special there. I'm going to be uh, waiting until um, I'm going to be waiting until uh, we we get to episode 365, uh, just because you know it hasn't been exactly a year. Uh, I haven't done 365 videos in that one year since the beginning, mostly due to the fact that there was like a whole week where I was sick once, and that uh, that really that really uh, did some bad stuff for me. So, uh, well, I mean, it, it wasn't. I was just like my voice was just fucked. I remember I wasn't even sick. My voice was just ruined. Oh God, that was the worst, wasn't it? I don't remember when that happened. That definitely happened during the last year. But uh, yeah, sure. Game history. Uh, sure. Give us. First, um, newly res okay, there you go. What are the reviews like? Come on, seven. Oh, yeah, there you go. Getting some good reviews. Seven. Oh, solid sevens. Seven. And finally, six. Could have been better. Oh, come on, all games. Said, generate game report. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. I want to generate two years, Babby. A newcomer to the industry has released into the space time nether. Oh, there you go. We got favorable re reviews. Oh, there you go. We're going to gain fans uh, quickly. Hopefully, that is true. We got some research points. Oh, look at that. 7,000. We charted at 37. Oh, and we gained 27 fans. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, let's develop a new game. All right. Our, uh, it's a, a time travel and adventure is great. Dialogue seems to be very important. Oh, all right, we didn't really get that. Um, so we're going to do our martial arts action game on the... Uh, it's going to be on the G64 again, and the reason for that is I believe the G64 or the Commodore 64 had more um, at, like accessories uh, to it than the PC did at the time. So it still has more market share. We can still develop on that. Um... Big fighting game, what we call this fighting game action. We're going to call this um, fight for your wife. Fight for your life, but it's wife. Martial arts, more like marital arts. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> that's it. That's that's as far as that's as far as this goes. Boom! <laughs> Into the space-time, Nethercraft achieved a company sales record. There were 10k units sold, 
is an important milestone in the two years uh, for the history of two years, baby. There you go. Uh, gameplay obviously is paramount in this engine. It's got to have a good fighting engine. Let's uh, let's let's do that. Let's yeah, you know, boom. It's got to have at least some engine in it. But uh, we've got to be working on uh, gameplay on our action game, of course. Um, AI is going to be paramount. Dialogues in the pooper levels, a tiny little bit. Boom. That's how it's going to be. Wow, we really stunk it up on that one, didn't we? All right, well, let's hope that... Uh, I mean, this is a techn technologically packed game, isn't it? World design? No. Sound? Oh, it's going to have big sound. Yeah, big sound and graphics. You know, this is going to have some hardcore music. It's going to get the blood pumping uh, when uh, people are playing this game. Uh, if, if it doesn't, then, then, we, then it's been a, a complete failure. So we've definitely got to work on that. Nine bugs, though. We're going to be doing some bug squash in here. Uh, recent uh, is steadily outselling competitors. Prefer the lower price, greater availability of flexible hardware. That's what I was thinking, flexible hardware. So might spell the end to competing hardware manufacturers. How, how wrong, how wrong can you be? All right, there you go. Into space times now off the market. We sold 23k units, 165 grand in sales. We can be happy about that. Finish the game up. We got some good. I mean, it's a new record in tech, but not in the other one. It's a new topic in combo, so we get bonus points. That's fantastic. It's not a great combo though. Really, martial arts action. Okay. Thought it would be a great combo, but new topic, new combo. Not a great combo, really. All right, release game. A martial arts action game. Come on, now. Um, Fight for your wife. Let's see. Is it a good game or a bad game? Follow-up is a stinker. Oh, it's a very mediocre game. Quirky but good. Nice experience. It looks like we're going to be getting a 6 7 on score. Oh, oh, oh game hero. Oh, oh. Action games work well on the G64. Not a martial arts game. All right, generate game report. Yeah, fight for your wife. Select that crap. Wow. What a... What a sad, sad state of affairs. I almost can't believe it. All right, well, I think we do have simulation, so we can at least make a sim. We're going to make a city builder. Um, fight for your wife showing martial arts action is a great combination story quest seems to be not important Really that was a great combination Didn't seem like a great combination uh, When I made it and uh, story quest seems to be not important. Oh, I already knew that develop new game pick genre simulation pick topic um, a law simulation? Do we have a, a law RP strategy? Yeah, strategy, uh, law. No, no, it's not gonna be that. We're gonna be making, uh, we're gonna be making Sim City early on. We we're year one. What are we in? 1980, 1980, something like that. Simulation, uh, transport simulation. Oh yeah, okay. This is uh, this is TTD. Uh, Transport Tycoon Deluxe, and are we going to be G69ing it? Simulations work well on the PC. Got to switch to PC dev. That is the way to go, although the PC is in a little bit of a slump. Still got to do it. Transport Simulation, we are going to call this... Um, we're going to call this... Uh, Layin... Yeah, laying, tr uh, laying tracks. There you go. Laying tracks! Exclamation mark. No, just laying tracks is gonna be the name of this game. Boom shot. I mean, I really love this game. Man, I needed I needed an excuse to play this, right? Like God. What else happened this year? I mean, obviously, oh, uh, engine. Fuck yeah, gameplay. Yeah, buddy. Uh, story quest. Nah, though, should go fuck himself. Um, some, actually, you know what? I'll just max out the things that say plus. Just we're we're maxing, relaxing. We're 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 going for full things. The Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch a very own gaming console. They're known for their arcade success in Dinky King. Many industry experts, home gaming consoles will take off, uh, but um, they doubt home consoles will take off. Well, we know the answer to that. We know what's gonna happen. PC doesn't have too long left. AI, obviously, of paramount importance to this. Dialogues and level design. 
nope, we don't even need, we're just, we're, we're playing the maxing game, I think that's the idea, I mean, balance, we don't need no balance, we just need, world design is not, but graphics and sound, sound is not really that important, graphics, I think, is going to be of paramount importance, so we're, we're, we're going all for one, one for all here, that's just what we got to do, um, we should probably do some, uh, we should probably, after this game, we'll do, start doing some research, I hope it does well, uh, we gotta squash the bugs. Fight for your wife is off the market. Didn't do as well. Oh, God. Alright, finish 11 and 13. Um, you know, it's a very balanced game. New record, 11 is good. New topic, new combo. Boom. That sounds good to me. This year, GeoGuessr was a big, big game, uh, for me. I love it. It's fantastic. It's the way I get to, I mean... You know, it's got so many comments. People like to talk about it. I love to play it. And, you know, I'm really happy that uh, people like watching it as well. We can... Uh, I'm going to generate a game report. So I'm going to wait till uh, it comes out. So laying tracks has come out. Oh, no. Wow, really? Laying tracks is pretty bad? I would have thought it would be good. Does it need? Do we need more balance? Maybe we need more balance. Simulation works well on PC. Okay, laying tracks. Not the game we wanted it to be. All right. Uh, so clearly, generate a game report for laying tracks, please, uh, because currently we've got we've got issues. Laying tracks. Uh, I think we have potential. All right. If we're ever short on cast, we can, we can go there. Invento has. Well, their console's out. It's early early next year. Wow. Post-release of laying tracks, we get the following. It's a, it's a great combination. Dialogues aren't important. Well, we don't know. We don't know, really know what that's going to be, but we've lost some fans, so we can... No, 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 no. Do we... What's our... No. What we got to do is we've got to do some research here into... I mean, we can research custom game engine. Um... Yeah, Liz, we'll research, we'll start researching custom game engine, and we'll research a topic. We'll bleed out money, and we'll research a topic, and that's what we're going to do. Laying tracks will give us a little bit of a bonus, but seriously, we need, we need some good stuff because, uh, I mean, this has been a successful year. No. All right, we got custom game engine. We can, uh, research new topic. All right, so what we want to do is actually, hold on. If I go over there and I click X and I click on me and I, oh, come on, new game. And I can go pick genre, strategy. I haven't done a strategy game or an RPG. So strategy and RPG, those are the kind of games I'm looking uh, to make. So uh, let's research a new topic. Strategy. Um, fashion, no, not a fashion, a spy RPG, government RPG, government strategy, airplane strategy. Airplane simulation seems to make more sense. A government strategy, government simulation, or government strategy. Fashion strategy, no, fashion casual. Spy, spy adventure. You know, we did best in our, on our adventure game, so we're going to be doing a spy adventure. That's going to be the game that we are going to be doing today, folks. Oh, man. I mean, how fun is this? I should really play this game more because I actually really... I love it so much. Like, this is this is my bag of tea. Oh, 50k in sales. That's awful. All right. Successfully research a new topic. Develop a new game. Pick topic. Spy. Pick genre. Adventure. Pick a platform, adventure, still working well. We got to release this before Ninvento because Ninvento is about to come out. I'm going to say, uh, we're going to call this, um, we're going to call this one, hmm, uh, Sleuth? Is that how you spell Sleuth? That's a good question. On the, um, there you go, Sleuth on the Loose. Hmm, all right, let's, let's say that's it, Sleuth on the Loose. That's what I'm trying to spell here. Of course, I don't know how to spell, so there you go. <laughs> oh, boy. 
This is going to be it. I think a more balanced approach is going to be it. So we don't need to care about engine, but we want gameplay and story quests. And, uh, you know, a little bit of engine, just because it's not important. Uh, there you go. Beautiful. So uh, we've got to make a more balanced approach if we're going to create good games, because apparently uh, maxing is not at all a good strategy. Dialogue, super important. This is... Is barely on the radar. This one, a, a little bit more on the radar. Just boom, air. Yeah, that's how it's gonna go. Boom. So dialogue super important, but we got some more stuff in there too, because sleuth on the loose really is something. Oh, uh, the the, the Nintendo 69 has been released. Graphics is gonna be a powerful ally, but we gotta go with something like uh, something like. Something like this. Yeah, something like that. Boom. Check that out. That's gonna be that's gonna be good. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Get those get those points rolling. Rolling. Okay. Boom. Boom. Finish. Alright, sleuth on the loose. Sleuth on the loose. Let's hope that our game is good. New topic. New combo. Boom. We leveled up. We leveled up. Smacked it. Smacked it. Oh, so close in level design. AI. And, uh, you know, more stuff. Boom, smack that one. Oh, we leveled up. Let's release our game. Uh, game tutorials and mono sounds are now available. Okay. So, while we're doing that, we can generate a game report for Sleuth on the Loose. Um, Alright. Sleuth on the Loose came in. These reviews look like they're mediocre. <sighs> Not a mediocre game. Nice experience. That's good. It has its moments. And... Oh, meh! Stab me in the heart, why don't you? Come on. How can that be? Oh, boy. Well, Sleuth on the Loose is a bust. We gotta, we gotta save... What's gonna be, what's gonna be our game on the Ninvento 69? I don't know what it's going to be. Our post, Sleuth on the Loose. Spy and Adventure is a great combination. World design seems to be very important for the game. Yeah. Well, we fucked it up this time. Let's research stuff. Uh, game tutorials. cost uh, that, that stuff costs us money. We need... God, none of these are going to be good. Fashion. You have to, be, have to wait for casual on that one. Vocabulary. Airplane. An airplane simulation. I guess is what we need to do. We already did a sim, so a government sim, government strategy. Now, airplane, airplane simulation, strategy sim, when we can combine things, that's going to be it. But for now, we can't afford to make, uh, we can't afford to do anything. So we'll start our research on there. Hopefully, we make it big with this project because uh, we're starting to uh, be on the back burner here. We don't have any topics that would be particularly good on, um, I mean, maybe martial arts. Uh, would be nice. We can make a martial arts game on the Ninvento. You know, we've done one of those before. Uh, develop a new game. Uh, pick a topic. Airplane. Simulation. On the... Simulation's only a plus. We're going to pick it on the PC. And what we want to do is we want to call this Airplane Simulation. We want this to be... Um, we want this to be called an airplane simulation. We're going to be called this um, Air Force Air Force Juan. There you go, Air Force Juan. Um, with a question mark in the end. <laughs> That's why I love this game. It's so good. God, I might just I might just keep playing this. Fuck it. This is going to be an hour long. All right? Fuck it. We'll do it live. This is going to be one hour long. If you guys like this, smash the like button. Smash it as hard as you can. Leave some positive comments. Do whatever. Tell me. I want to see more of this. If you don't, whatever. That's fine. You know, you don't need to see more of this. I might just play this on my own. But if you like it, tell me about it. Because I want to play more of this. So, if you guys want this, this is a game that you can see soon. Air Force Juan. Absolutely, that's going to be it. 2D graphics, of course, which are in their infancy, but, you know, what can you do? 
Uh, engine is very important for this kind of thing, but gameplay, story, and quest can go uh, take a back seat. Uh, but, uh, you know, there you go. Boom. Sweet. All right, so we're getting some points. Again, I forget whether maxing or not maxing is a good strat on this. Uh, dialogues. Okay, when there's a negative arrow, that's when we just give it no, no potatoes. So no potatoes on dialogues because they take away. But level design is important. AI of utmost pinnacle importance. We think. We don't really know yet, to be honest. Um... They could be, they could not be, we don't know yet. World design is a negative, but graphics and sound graphics, we're gonna have to have some good graphics, but some sweet cruising sounds, I think. Yeah, I think graphics is gonna be more important, but some sweet, some sweet sounds, so we'll call, we'll call that halfway, maybe, yeah, halfway. There you go, so we're gonna have some sweet sound blasting in our ears. Sleuth on the, lo Sleuth on the loose actually did pretty well. So, you know, we got some stuff to be happy about. We are a little bit of a better game designer. We can tell that because our numbers actually have gone up. Two, one, boom. Thirteen, fifteen for Air Force Juan. Is everyone ready for Air Force One? New, a new record. Uh, that's just my imitation of. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that's an imitation of. New record for some kind of Mario game, but in what? I don't know. It's a good question. Let's release it. Okay, release the game. It's out there. Generate game report for uh, Air Force One. First reviews for Air Force One have come in. Be good, be good, Air Force One. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah. There you go. We did it. We we, we did it, Mom. Get the camera. Get, uh, yeah, straight eights. Give me the eights. Give me the eights. Yeah. All eights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet, there you go. They played it all day. They loved it. They loved it. Oh, I feel I'm smiling and satisfied. Air Force One making some good stuff. Air Force One, airplane simulation, great. Engine is important. Sound seems to be quite important. So good. Now we can um we can do research. Just new topic right now. UFO. It could be cool. Uh but no, 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 no research. Uh, develop new game. Uh, play platform. How much does this cost? 80k. Yeah, we'll pay the licensing fee for that. I believe we've just bought it. Um, we are going to do an action. A law? No, we can't really. Law's got to be a, a law. Did we do a law game? I forget. I don't know what strategy is really good on. Strategy is strategy good on something? No, strategy. I don't know. Strategy might be good on G64, but action, action's got to be good on this. You know, this is the home console. Uh, so we are going to do a UFO simulation strategy sim, sim UFO simulator like an XCOM could be good. I think that's the game it wants us to make. But we will make a, the return of the martial arts, which we know it's a great combo, because it says it right here. We know it's a great combo, but on TES, we've already made a game like this, so we've got the skills to pay the bills. We are going to call this one, I mean the last one, I don't remember even what it was called, was it go, okay, it was Fight for Your Wife, I think, yeah, Fight for Your Wife. This one is going to be called... Um, uh, there you go. Uh, ultimate fighting centaurs. There you go. Ultimate fighting centaurs. Uh, actually, we'll we'll call this one UFC colon ultimate fighting centaurs. So that or is it centaurs or centaurs? Good question. Fuck it. We don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the answer to that question. So Ultimate Fighting Centaurs is going to come out soon. Gameplay, we know that's important. Engine, still got to be got to be a little bit of sugar in the pot for that one. So we got engine in there. See, that's I think I think that's how you make a, a better game. You max it. Market research. Air Force One is a surprise hit with the players. The developers, two years, baby. 
is uh, fairly new to the gaming industry. Cannot wait to see what they uh, make uh, next. Oh, look at that. Surprise hit. AI has got to be important. It's already tilted the way it was before. But we don't really know that. So I'm going to lift lift these up like this. Right? AI. No, it's action. So level design. We don't. It's not really a fighting game. It's not. We, we in my mind it was a fighting game, but it's not necessarily a fighting game. We don't actually know that. It's a really an action game. So the levels have got to be pretty important. Dialogues. Dialogues. No. Dialogues gets a negative. But AI and that. So we're actually going to pump these up. Boom. Working on both pillars. That I think was my big misstep last time. It's proven a massive success. Uh, sales numbers, one customers. I love the game, the game controller. It's more fun than a keyboard. Well, I'm developing a game on the system, so we can cash in on that cow. That's good. Good for us, I hope. Good for us, I hope. World design, graphics, and sound. I think sound is important in a martial. I mean, graphics is pretty important. Sound is going to be like almost up. World design, kind of too, actually. So we're going to call world design up here. We're going to go the three pronged approach like that. That's going to be our, that's going to be how many prongs we have in our game. So many prongs. You won't even know where to put them. 15. Oh, that's a good game. Boom. 15 and 16. That's good. Our game is finished. Look at that. No sense waiting. If we wait, we die. Wow. Air Force One has had a long tail. That's good. That's good for us. Good good news. Good news indeed. Look at that. 60. Let's release it. Let's release the game. Air Force One is now off the market. Sold 22,626. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, first review came in for UFC Ultimate Fighting Centaurs. Let's find out. Is it good or bad? Enjoyable. Okay, so we didn't make we didn't make the worst game in existence. Oh, we might have made a decent game. All right. All right, IGN. Oh, there you go, Game Hero. They got they got the money. They got the big fat paycheck underneath their pillow. Oh, that's a game. That's like that's like an Air Force One style game there. Star Games, you can go fuck yourself. They don't like being bought out, do they? Generate a game report for Ultimate Fighting Centaurs. Select. And uh, we, we can't do anything. So, yeah, there you go, Ultimate Fighting Centaurs. That's pretty sweet, and uh, we've got some we got some points to kill. Ultimate fighting centaurs level design is quite important for this kind of game. Okay, um, develop new game, create custom engine. Let's research a bit of things first. Yeah, let's research uh, let's research mono sound right now. So that's gonna be that's gonna be useful. So I think we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing some games in the TES for right now. Don't know if there'll be too many games that we're going to be doing on the on the PC until the Gavador 64 has been knocked off. We've researched Mono Sound. Now we can research game tutorials, which is going to be nice. Variety of games, uh, specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers. More uh, market, we expect specific age groups to make an impact. Research available, target audience. Now we can start targeting audiences, which we might actually... Don't forget creating this will improve all right so they want us to create a custom engine um but i think we are yeah we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of research because we've got we've got the money right now uh to to do this kind of thing so great successfully research game tutorials uh there are rumors circulating that vena is going to be creating one of their own well we can do some research target audience of course we can do that we um Game history. Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't actually... Uh, hopefully, you have, uh, Ultimate Fighting Centaurs is now off the market. So now we are in loss mode. We're losing losing money. Ham over fist. Whatever that means. Um, and we're going to need to be making a new game. Successfully research target audience. Okay. So. Uh, we... We can actually, yeah, we can create a custom engine. That That's going to be good. Yeah, we want 2D graphics, V2, a linear story, save game, game tutorials, and everything like that. 150K. Great. 
we got everything bundled all in one package. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be called, what's it going to be called? It's going to be, uh, it's your first game engine. It's going to be called, um, I don't know. I can't really think of, I don't think of a funny game. It's going to be called the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the shift. No, I don't want to call it something real. What's a, what's a good name? We're going to, we're going to call it, uh, we're going to call it, I don't know. We're going to call it Big Beefy. There you go. Big Beefy. Big Beefy. That's it. Big Beefy. Create the engine. There you go. That's that's the, that's the entirety, really, of the story there, isn't it? We still got some good money. So we, we're, we're good for now. Our research points are, are abundant. So that's good. Linear story. Everything's going in there. This is a big one. Vena has uh, just released the Master V. Okay. W now, we could make Master V games, but I don't know what's good on the Master V. No idea. Look at that. 137. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big beefy. Big beefy. Here we go. Let's make it. Let's make the big beefy. Uh, sure. Okay, we're done. There you go. Big beefy is now complete. Now we can research a new topic. Um, we got a. No, I think I'm gonna make. Um, I think I'm gonna make uh, a new game history because what do we see here? We saw land tracks. We saw. Oh, no, hold on. If I go over here, develop new game, and I go time travel. Adventure. We know it's a great combo. We know a time travel adventure is good for. It's not a youth. It's not a youth game. It's a. It's an everyone game, right? Because time travel adventure. It's for everyone. Doesn't seem to be uh, very mature. Um, we know youth games do very well on that, but E does well on this one. Uh, youth games does very well. Oh. Then in that case, you know what? We will target youth. Time travel adventure for the kids. Pick the platform, the TES. Pick the game engine. Big Beefy is going to be there. And we're going to call this one. We're going to call this one. Uh, we're going to call this one. Uh, uh, Big Bang Babbies. There you go. With two Bs, of course. we got to spell Babbies like that. Big Bang Babbies, because they're going back in time, all the way to the Big Bang. Uh, you know, the title doesn't sound doesn't sound good, and also, that's not how you spell Babbies. You know what? Fuck it, we're going to keep it like that. You know, no, I'm going to... I can't look at it spelled like that. I'm going to have to call it like that, but I feel like it, it you know, with two Bs, it really should be spelled Y-S, but we're going to call it Big Bang Babbies, spelled like that. Big Beefy Time Travel, next... There you go, 2D Graphics V2, start development. This is an expensive game, uh, but it's going to be the best one. This one doesn't really need that, but again, you know, it's got to have some, it's got to have some good story and quests and gameplay. So there you go. That's, that's important to it. It's an adventure game. We got to, we got to be working on story and quests like mad, like mad. Uh, dialogues are super important to this kind of game. So these ones, level design and AI, level design a little bit, because I feel like that's a kind of a bad idea. But dialogues are very important, very important, apparently. Uh, we know that much, so there you go. Look at that. This is going to be the better time travel adventure for sure. Oh, these are super important, so sound can go fudge off. Oh, did I not? Uh, I might have not included some of the... Uh, some of the, the the good things that I probably should have in this game, but that's fine. Um, world design a little bit more, so like that. Great. All right, this is gonna be it. We've included better sound for whatever reason. 
It's probably not too important, but there you go. It gets done. Bug squash in time. Boom. The Master V has been released. All right, there you go. 21 and 10. Don't know what I feel about this game, but it's got Big Bang Babies has to do well. It has to sell well. Because if it doesn't, then things are not good for us. Hopefully, hopefully it does good. We'll release the game. Technology. Is a lacking first reviews for Big Bang Babies came in. Are they high? Are they low? They look they look good. Yeah, there you go. Eight. Come on, do we pay you off? We paid you off. Do we pay anyone else off? Don't come low, don't come low, come oh game hero. Come on, you were my star players. Nine? Yeah, okay, can't wait for the sequel. Yeah, you like Big Bang Babies. Great. That's awesome. Let's uh, generate a game report. Big Bang Babies. Um, and that's all we can do. Nice. So Big Bang Babies are triumphant return to making games after such a long hiatus. Um, you know, our post, uh, there you go. Sound, not very important. Platform match, uh, adventure, and the TES is actually not good. Hmm. We've learned something new today. So we don't want to be developing adventure games. We can research something. Um, we want to do, well, you, okay, what, what games don't we know, right? If we go over here, uh, start up the worldwide market, develop new game. So we know adventure sucks. We know RPG is good. Genre match action. We don't know. We know the strategy and action strategy or action. RPG is good. Simulation is good. Uh, we don't know much about the Master V. Maybe uh, maybe some games are better on. Maybe adventure games are actually good on there. But that's losing market share pretty quick. Uh, we're going to stick to the TES just because we know in real life it does outsell the Master V. And um, we should probably do more PC games. Simulation. I'm, we're gonna we're gonna go back to our roots and we're gonna be we're gonna make a PC game uh, because that is that's gonna be oh uh, yeah a mature simulation. I think that's gonna be uh, a good idea. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go back. We're gonna do uh, do some research. New topic: a government game. There you go. A government. Start research. All right, a government. Is it a government strategy game or is it? I think it should be a government. I think it actually should be a strategy game, to be honest. I think it should be a strategy game. Huh, strategy. How? What's a strategy game? I think it has to be. Yeah, it's going to be a strategy game on the PC. All right. Uh, so we're going to develop a new game. Pick game engine. Big beefy. Pick uh, thing. We're going to do PC. Mature. Uh, we are going to pick government. We're going to pick strategy. A mature government strategy game on the PC. Now, does mature... Is there not a target audience? Maybe everyone? No, we're going to do mature. Right? Because mature... Actually, hold on. If I, oh, crap. Develop new game. Pick platform. Everyone has two pluses and mature is three. Should we go with should we go with this? I think we might we might need to go on this this bandwagon. Um But a government action game doesn't seem to make any sense. No, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a simulation. Alright, we wanna do a mature government strategy PC uh, big beefy game. So government, strategy, PC, mature. This one could make or break us. We're going to be calling this one um, Men on Top. There you go. It's like Men at the Top, but it's like an innuendo. Men on Top. It's <laughs> next. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have 2D graphics v2 for sure men on top Let's let's I was gonna say let's see it, but really, you know, let's not um, engine 
Yeah, uh, boy, I don't know. Story, it's a strategy. So engine has got to be very. No, stra stra story, quests, gameplay has got to be important to kiss them. It's not story, quests, it's strategy. That's got to be gameplay and engines. And gameplay and engine, right? Maybe not, just gameplay. Or maybe gameplay and engine, I don't know. Let's call it that. What do we have in story, quests? A linear story? No, we, we take that off. We don't need linear story on this game. This says does not have any kind of linear story. Save game and game tutorials, of course. So there you go. No, I, I don't know if those. I don't know if some of those little bonus things on the side can actually hurt you. They might. They might hurt you. Dialogues. Yeah. AI. Yeah. Level design. No. Um. So okay. There you go. That's gonna be that. Big Bang Babies is now off the market. Oh man, it did really well for us. Thank goodness. Okay, so we got we're getting some good points here. Graphics don't need to be good. Sound, world design, I don't know. We'll call it like that. And oh, hold on. Graphics, do we need to? Uh, there you go. Okay, there we are. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. Remember your company developing a game for a mature audience. Would you like to give an interview about it? Yeah, give it the interview. Thank you for your time. We'll publish the interview next week. Better not put a spin on it. These are games for adults. Planet GG, according to the interviews, working on the first game, Mature Players. Um, two years, Babby. Think the players looking for more mature content games when we take the risk. There you go. Um, hopefully, uh... Uh, hype is five. Oh, there's five hype surrounding this game. Hopefully, doesn't uh, we can research casual games? Oh, that's good. We will indeed do some casual games. Um, Govador 64 slowly losing market share against others. Unofficial the company has been unsuccessful introducing higher price computers. Um, okay. Oh man. All right. No. All right. We finished it. There you go. This game is done, baby. Done. Two new records. Look at that. New combo. Hopefully it's a good one. We don't know if it will be, though. Let's release it. You generate a game report, though. No, there's nothing. All right. Men on Top, please tell me. First review for Men on Top came in. And is it a bust or a bang? Men on Top are busting. It doesn't make them feel good. It's a nice experience. At least you liked it. But quirky but good. Yeah, I mean, it's a quirky game. It seems like it would be, really. It's a good game. All right, well, you know, what can I do? What can I do? I guess the mature thing might not have been a match. And, you know, it was hard to tell where I should put the sliders. It was hard to tell where I should put the sliders. It's complete. Government strategy is a great combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Uh, platform genre match is great. M oh, mature in government is okay. I get it. It's okay. I think everyone was... I, I see what happened there. Well, we can do some research uh, to casual games, I think. And then what we, what we want to do is make a cash, uh, fashion casual game for, um, for the uh, Ninvento. Oh... Well, that's what we want to make it for. There you go. Uh, is Oh, it's going to be hitting the shelves next month, eh? There you go, casual games. We are going to be um, doing some research into virtual pet. Oh. Yeah, let's start. Let's do virtual pet. A, ca uh, a virtual, a casual a virtual pet game on... Um, on the uh, on the uh, Ninvento, I think that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. It's coming out next month sometime, which is this month right now. So there you go. We've released virtual virtual pet has been researched. Research new topic, uh, military or fashion or vocabulary. Oh, a lot of casual games. We'll do a military. We'll do a military strategy games uh, for the next one. This one, this one we're going to be working on all sorts of stuff. All right, there you go. It's been released. 
We just wait till we uh, research military. And hopefully this game makes us the big bucks. Alright. There you go. Military. Develop new game. Alright. A kid's game. Virtual pet. Casual. On this one. Yeah, we want to do it. And uh, Big Beefy is the engine. And we're going to call this one... Uh... We're going to call this, um, um, I don't know. We're going to call this one, uh, pocket people. Sure. Pocket people. There you go. Pocket people. That's the game we're making. Let's do it. Next. Come on. 2D Graphics V2, of course, whatever the hell that means on uh, on the Game Boy. Uh, story and quest isn't really important. Gameplay, I think engine is probably something that's quite important um, for for that. I mean, actually, no, gameplay is probably really important for uh, that. Linear story, no, we don't want to have that. Game tutorials, save games, yeah, of course. Uh, an engine... How good is the engine? The engine's gonna have to be a, a little bit, but it's gonna really be all gameplay, really. Um, gameplay is gonna have to be by far what we should focus on. Uh, on this one, level design, oh, apparently level design is very important. Dialogues, no. AI, all right, it's a virtual pet game, so we're gonna actually do AI uh, a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, level design. Seems to be pretty important. Actually, we'll do both then. If they want level design, and uh, they they claim level design is a good idea, then then so be it. I'm I'm all for it. I'm all for it. World design, graphics, and sound. We don't really need world design, but let's make graphics and sound uh, a masterpiece. Uh, yeah, graphics and sound really just graph. Yeah, sure. Sound sound as well. Let's make graphics and sound. Both the hallmarks of this game. We got to hear the pet munching, uh, making mm, salivating noises, all sorts of weird stuff. I mean, you you won't really, you won't even believe this. Ain't your this? There's a growing audience for game for video game magazines. Uh, okay, marketing is now available. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. We did it. Seventeen twenty-one. New record in that one. New topic. New combo. That's good. Boom, and uh, we're seeing we're seeing some good stuff. Uh, great artificial uh, intelligence now level three. That's good. That's good. Oh yeah, there you go. So pocket people is ready. Let's release the game. Research better user experience. We can't. No, 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 no. no. I want to go and. Uh, do I need? Do I need to wait for something? Oh, our first review came in. What is it? What is it like? Oh, I see some high scores there. Nine, almost perfect. Oh yeah, we've done it. Oh my God, look at this. More, please. Give me a ten. Awesome. Oh yeah. All right. Generate a game report. There you go. Let's see the money pour in. Oh, big sales. Big sales. Pocket people, we've sold over 50k units. Oh, that is really, really good here. Pocket people is complete. Virtual pet casual. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform audience match young and gambling is great. Okay, so we can now do, um, do some research into new topic. Uh, a fashion... Uh, a fashion game, which we will do. So, congratulations. Quite a name for yourself. Lots of capital. We, oh, thank God I didn't click make the move. I don't want to I don't, I don't make any move yet. We want to definitely make sure that we've got everything that we that we need. Oh, man. Look at this. These are, these are some big sales. We're at $2 million. We researched a new topic. Okay. Spokesperson says, oh, there you go. We've got... We've got a, we got, we got, uh, we got more devices that are going to be here. So what we want to do is we want to research them, uh, better user experiences. We've got, we've got the money to research uh, this kind of stuff. 
So we can we can do that on our own. And once we've uh, once we've done the research, um, there you go. Successfully research that research marketing. Uh, we don't have marketing. All right. Um, create custom engine. Custom engine. We'll just add that. Really? That's all it would add? No, we can't do that. Develop a new game. Youth. Um, we want to do. Uh, we want to do a. Well, we'll give. We'll give one game. So what we want to do is military strategy so strategy is good on the PC strategy well we know casual is good on this uh, did we do it on the TES I don't think we did I thought we did it on this thing yeah we did we did it on there um, game okay yes yeah, so we'll do military strategy here uh, we will we'll call it a mature because military big beefy and we'll call this one um we'll call this one f not front lines got to be kind of oh front lions it's like front lines but front lions all right next 2d graphics there you go so we've got it we got some good information on what makes a good strategy game engine super important gameplay um, you know, gameplay is still there. It's kind of like right there. So there you go. Uh, there. Sweet. Because we know engines very important for this kind of game uh, to be successful. Front Lions. Pocket People is now off the market. Wow, we did good on that one. AI is super important. Level design. No dialogues. Level design. Artificial intelligence. Actually, it's strategy. No, yeah, because a little bit. Oh, some like, some like that. There you go. All right, we're 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 putting our we're putting our money where our hens are. All right, Game Gear Vivena has been released. I mean, that's gonna be a flop. Uh, graphics doesn't seem too important. We can put in a, a little bit. World design, uh, world design and sound graphics just there you go boom okay so there you go we got we got graphics in there front lions uh seems like it's gonna be okay and just barely just barely okay okay what's that's a blue one and or and yeah you go a blue and uh, one one more fuck it finish it's done it's done the game's done front lions there you go. It's a new topic and a new combo. Very nice. Hopefully military strategy works out. A mature military strategy game on the PC seems like a great fit. And then we can go back to making filthy casual fashion games. Let's release it. And no. All right. Uh, Better Dialogues has been released. Generate a game report for Front Lions. First review came in for Front Lions. Don't be bad. Don't be a crash. It is... A, oh, it's a 10. Oh my god, it's a, oh wow, they didn't like it. Oh yeah, they did. All right, how did they feel? Come on, oh, almost perfect. And what about you? Did you love it or did you love it? There you go. Another big game from us. Oh, that is just really good for us. I mean, it's of course not going to sell like the other one. In two months, the, yeah, there you go. That's gonna be taken off the market. We know it, but we are we're rolling, rolling in the cash. There you go. Moving next step forward. Yeah, let's we're we're gonna make the move. And there you go. Two years, baby. We've made it into the new office. Military strategy, level design is very important for this kind of game. Target audience, mature and military is great. Oh my god. Well, uh, I'm gonna say that I hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I'm going to see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, 
one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.